So what we're going to look at now is the differences in resuscitation for babies and children compared to adults. Some of the differences I'm going to go through with you now are, tend only to be taught to healthcare professionals, but I think it's important to cover those in this module. Now we said with adults that we use two hands to compress the chest. With children, we probably only need the heel of one hand on the chest because the child's ribs are more springy. And with a baby, we only need two fingers to push down on the chest because of the chest size and because obviously the baby is a lot smaller. It's important to remember with children and babies that you need to compress the chest at least a third of what they call the anterior posterior diameter, which means at least a third of that body depth. So if we're looking at the baby like this, you've got to compress the chest that far down because people when they're resuscitating children and babies tend not to push the chest down hard enough. So if I just show you that again, it's at least a third of that body depth. With the airway of an adult, we said to bring the head back as far as you can using a head tilt and chin lift. With a baby and a child, we don't want to bring the head so far back. So we just bring it back a little bit because if we tilt it too far back, we can actually obstruct the airway. So with a baby, all I would need to do is put my hand on the forehead, finger under the chin, and just bring the head back enough. If the air goes in, I don't need to bring the head back anymore. If the breath doesn't go in, I just need to tilt it back a little bit. With children and babies, you can use the same ratio of 30 chest compressions to two rescue breaths. But if you're confident in giving your rescue breaths, and you can get those breaths in within that five seconds, then you can use a ratio of 15 compressions to two rescue breaths for a baby, because that will get more air in in a minute than the 30 to two will. If you forget that, then just treat children and babies the same as adults and do 30 compressions to two rescue breaths. Otherwise, with children and babies, 15 compressions and two rescue breaths. With a baby, because the baby's mouth and nose is quite small, then I'm not gonna be able to pinch the baby's nose and blow into the mouth, so I would put my mouth over the baby's mouth and nose. The other thing with a baby and child, if you can remember, is to give five ventilations first before you start your chest compressions. That will get plenty of air into the lungs. So I'll demonstrate that with the five rescue breaths and then just to show you your compression. So with the baby, head back, my mouth over the mouth and nose. Five rescue breaths and on the chest, then I would just start doing my chest compressions. And exactly the same as an adult, we keep this going until we're either too tired to carry on, professional help arrives to take over, or the baby comes back to life. The other thing to remember, if you can, is if you're doing this with a baby and a child, with an adult, we said as soon as you diagnose a cardiac arrest, you have to leave if you're on your own. With a child and a baby, you would do your chest compressions and rescue breaths for a minute before you leave the baby or the child to go and get help. And that's because that minute that you do first might bring the baby back to life. So if you can remember that as a bit of a recap, we're saying two hands on the chest of an adult, probably only one hand on the chest of a child, two fingers on the chest for a baby, don't bring the head too far back with babies and children. Start with five rescue breaths if you can and do this for a minute before you leave the baby or child if you have to to make your 999 call.